hello everyone welcome to the channel i'm very excited to share with you this new project called as ishigo ishigo is a japanese word for strawberry since open ai has released their code named project strawberry it seems that now this word is quite in vogue when it comes to ai in this project ishigo Lama is learning to talk and they have given it the name strawberry in Japanese. In this video we are going to install it locally and then we are going to see how exactly it works. So this is primarily a model which is called as Ishigo Lama 3.1 which is the local real time voice AI. It is completely open search research with an open source code base open data, open weights, and you can run it on a single NVIDIA 3090 GPU. We will also be seeing how much VRAM it uses shortly when we install it. But the major characteristic or improvement, should I say, which Ishigo is bringing to the plate is that it can talk back. It recognizes when it cannot comprehend input. Plus, you can also run Ishigo Lama 3.1 on your device with the checkpoints, which are all open source. So it is quite easy to run it on mobile phones, whether it is Android or any other version. All you need to do is to just port it and then you can simply run it in any tool of your choice. And I will be showing you as how you can do that on uh, your local system, which you can very easily port to any other device. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So without wasting further time, let's go and try to install it. And then while it is installing, I will be giving you more information around its training process because that is quite interesting too. Let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's create a virtual environment with Coda. I'm just calling it AI. Let's wait for it to get created. Shouldn't take too long. And that is done. Next up, let's install NVIDIA SCUDA with the GCC compiler, of course. This is going to take a minute or so. So let's wait for it to finish. And that is all done. Next up, let's install some other prerequisites, which include Hugging Face Hub, Accelerate and stuff. So let's wait for it to finish. And while that happens, let me give you a very brief overview of its training process. So there are three phases in which it has been trained. In the first phase, there was continual pre-training on multilingual speech. In this phase, they shifted from an English only data set <clears throat> to seven languages data set. And that helped align the model's distribution more closely with the original multilingual training of the base LLM. And to accommodate their shift towards a multilingual data set, they also made a change, change in from their tokenizer. And this pre-training step totaled around 868,064 steps and took over 45 hours on 10 A6000 GPUs. They used Torch Tune's fully sharded data parallel 2, which is FSTP2, and Adam W fused optimizer with a lot of parameters, which they also have shared on the um, their blog post and i will share the link in a video's description in the second phase uh, they focused on recovering the model's general capabilities while enhancing its speech related skills and then in the third and final phase they taught ishigo to say i cannot hear so they focused on fine-tuning the model to improve user interaction particularly in handling inaudible inputs and multi-ton conversation so the objective was to teach the model to recognize and appropriately respond to inaudible inputs plus to improve context retention in multi-ton conversation with speech input so really good stuff and really hats off to them to really opening up everything you can even train your own model by just following their instructions also, before I go forward, let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video, which are AgentQL. AgentQL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily, and at scale. 
you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page okay so let's go back to our terminal to see what is happening that is all done now let's launch our jupyter notebook and then we will play around with this in the browser environment so let's wait for it to get launched so the jupyter notebook is launched let's upgrade some of the libraries plus more importantly let's uh, git clone this repo so everything is installed here let's now import all the libraries <coughs> which we have installed and that shouldn't take too long and that is done and don't worry about the commands i'm also going to give you the link to the notebook next up let's uh, download some of the sample uh, audio files so what we are trying to do here just as an example we are downloading these sound files requesting uh, and we will be asking our model to code a random python script so and of course you can replace it with your own wav files if you like whatever audio files you have you can replace it like that so i'm just going to, uh, downloading it from the public google drive so that is also done next up we just need to convert the audio files to the sound tokens and this is a standard script which they have shared which you can simply copy paste so let me run it and try to explain what is happening here so they are just checking if there is a CUDA device run it on CUDA GPU or otherwise you can simply run it on your CPU this is a model name and then we are downloading the model and then this is a function where the audio file which we have given it is being put onto the GPU and being converted into the token because that is what model understand and as you can see that it has already been done now we can do the inference with the model the same way with any other LLM and that is the beauty of it. So let me paste the code and you will see that this code which I am pasting is very similar to what we have normally when we use our text based large language models. So we are just loading, setting this pipeline up with the 4 bit model, the quantized version, and then these are all the hyperparameters which we are using in the 4 bit one. This is a quantization config. We are giving some of the hyperparameters like what should be the randomness of response and sampling or not and how many tokens it should generate. We are giving the tokens to the model. Model is generating the output and this is the model which we are using here. And then we are getting the response back. So let me run it here. It is going to download the shards of the model. There you go. So you see there are four shards of the model around 5k or so, something like that. So let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long from here. Let's wait for it. And the model has now been downloaded and also it's on our GPU. Let's do the inference now. So you see, these are the sound tokens. This is a wave file we are giving and we are just asking it to code this Python script. And then I'm just generating the text out of it. So let me run it. There you go so it is running at the moment you see how good the speed is let's wait for it and this is the full size of the file which is being processed at the moment looks good almost there and let's wait for it sound tokens are almost done and these are the, this is a prompt template and then it is going to pipe it through to the model let's wait and the, there you go you see so it has uh, converted the audio recorded prompt which was this wave file let me quickly play this wave file for you so this is a wave file code a python script code a python script so the, in the audio file we have asked the model to code a python script so it has generated the Python script here just from our audio file. That's about it. And for example, you also want to ask it to write a story. For that, similarly, you can say something like that. So this is another wave file. Let me run it and I will also play that wave file for you while it does this. So if I go there and play it. Write a story. Write a story. 
So it says write a story and now it is writing the story. So let's wait for it. And there you go. So you see it has written the whole story for us. This is the whole story it has written. And it has cut it down the because we have just given it the um, max output token which you can increase of course. Another cool thing about this model is that it can also do audio transcription. So you can simply use this function which we have defined above. Give it any audio file like this one and it is going to transcribe it. Let me run it. So you see it just says write a story and you see how quick that was. Really good stuff. So I will be also doing another video where I will also show you a Gradio demo which is a docker based one and that is more uh, grounded so but we will do it separately because that requires more setup and stuff but still I think even with this uh, simple uh, demonstration you can already see the power of this model which is quite impressive I must say. So that's it let me know what do you think about this model we will be covering it more in the coming video so stay tuned please subscribe to the channel and if you uh, would share it among your network that would help a lot and I'll be very grateful. Thank you for watching.